hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel um thank you everybody for your support your comment your likes um in today's tutorial i will teach you guys how to draft a basic body pattern on um a blazer yep so the first thing you are going to do is you are going to mark out one inch at the front part that is going to serve as a button allowance so these four lines you are seeing the shoulder slanting and the bust line, the under bust and the half length. So this shoulder part, you are going to measure just one and a half inch downward for your shoulder slanting. Then from that point, you are going to mark seven inches for your armhole, as usual. So just try to roll the line to indicate so that you won't get confused. That is for the ham hole. So on your bust line, you are going to take your bust measurement. You are starting from that line. You are not starting from the beginning because that, that one inch we removed out is for the button allowance. So you are going to take your normal measurement divided by four with your two inches sewing allowance then on this down part you are going to take your hip measurement on this down part so you are going to divide it by four then you had your two inches sewing allowance then you connect them together So after when you might have connected them together, just try to curve your arm hole. If you have your arm hole curve, you can make use of that. But here I'm using the free hand. So on this down part, just measure. At this down part, just measure one inch to curve the down part so that you won't have um. A straight stuff there I think it looks more beautiful when it's curved so after drafting out the pattern like this the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take measurement of the neck so I'm making use of three and a half inches it can be three or three and a half inches if you're going beyond that maybe like four or five inches the neck will be too wide and it might not really come out way so you are going to connect to your under bust line or in between the under bust line and the half length it can be either of the two either you connect it to your under bust line or in between the under bust and the half length So now you are going to determine where you are going to insert your dart. You can decide to make it a princess dart. Then you can also make it um, the normal simple dart. So just on your half length line, just measure five inches downward. Then you take the dart to your bust point. So now to determine where you are going to put your dart, you are going to use your breast distance, nipple to nipple, divided by two. So if you just want to put the normal basic dart, that is what you are going to do. Just five inches below the half length. This point measure half inch. Measure half inch. So as I was saying, five inches below your half length line, then you take it to your nipple. Take it to the bust line. That is the normal, if you want to take the normal basic dart. But if you want to make it princess cut, it's also cool.
So if you want to make it princess curl, all you need to do is just the way we take our normal measurement on this part three and a half inch, three and a half inches. Then you just go down on this part, then you curve to that three and a half inch. Yes. If you look at it now, you see the princess uh, stuff is already coming out. If at all you want to make it princess curl, it can it can either be this simple one or princess coat whichever one you want to make use of so after cutting out the front part this is what you are going to have um now we want to get the back so we're just going to have the one and a half inch extension at the back part don't forget the back we always be longer than the front then to cut out the neck on that back just use the front as your guideline this other front part um you can make it equal this way in as much as you know what you are going to do because at the end of the year see some people might want it to have joining at the back actually so if you want it to have joining at the back just place them make them equal like this but have it at the back of your mind that you are going to sew one inch in on that back have it at the back of your mind that you are going to sew one inch in on the back bodies because that one inch we added at uh, the first place is for the button allowance so this is how you are going to cut out the back neck just use that front shape to get it to to get the back neck you are going to trace it out So that is that about the back mind you on this back part you are going to sew one inch at the back it's going to have joining at the back so the purpose of that our one inch we first measured in the first place is for the button allowance so if you want the front to have some kind of shape just get one and a half or two inches off then shape it this way so that it won't just be straight so you're going to give your blazer some nice shape so this is what it's going to look like So now um i want to cut out the collar so assuming we've joined the shoulder together for instance yeah this place i'm notching out that one inch that you're going to join yeah because that front has to be more than that back with one inch because of that button allowance we added in the first place so from that notch now you're going to take your measurement Take your round neck measurement up to that place because that is where the collar is going to get up to. So now I have 19 inches there. So here now, assuming I'm folding the fabric into two, you are going to measure 19 and a half inches. Then now you determine the width of the collar. Then from that point, you just give you the shape. The neck is 19, the round neck is 19 inches. I made it 19 and a half because of the joining allowance. So you are going to cut out your collar this way. But mind you, the collar, you are not going to fold your fabric straight. You are not going to cut it straight. You are going to fold it in flay form. It's going to be in flay form so that it will be able to lap well. I'm going to show you how to fold this then the way you are going to cut it. I will show you that now. But basically just this this pattern is just serving as the guideline for you 
um, after joining the shoulder and the body, the the color is going to after fixing the color. This is what is going to look like. This is what is going to look like after fixing the color. But mind you, as I said, you are not going to cut it straight. You are going to cut it in flay form. You are going to fold your fabric in flay form, then you cut it. Let me show you how you do that on this fabric. Fold it like this. Fold it in flay form like this. Then on this part, it is the, exactly like this. exactly like this then you are going to cut out your normal round neck measurement i'm using a small fabric it's not actually enough so but that is just i'm just showing you as an example how you're going to cut it out so that it's be able to lap well so that's that about the color and the basic bodies um now i want to cut out the sleeve you know normal our basic sleeve pattern we measure five inches from this down part but on this blazer um it's going to be seven inches it's going to be seven inches we need more cuff at the arm or part so that it's going to look exactly like um a suit sleeve It's going to look like a suit sleeve. It's going to be very firm on the blazers, unlike the normal basic sleeve for cut. Get your bicep measurement, get your uh, round sleeve measurement, then you just connect them together. Then you had your one inch sewing allowance. It is as simple as that. So after joining the sleeve together this is what it's going to look like so fixing it on the blazers will come out very nice so that's that about the blazers thank you very much thank you very much everybody for watching see you in my next video